Hello friends, we are going to write an algorithm to print multiplication table. In this algorithm, I am going to use two variables. One is n, this is for table. Means which table we are supposed to print? Fifth table, tenth table. 14th table like this and R for range so up to what range we are supposed to print so 5th table up to 10 5th table up to the range 16 so R for range so I am going to get uh, two input from the user one is table another one is range and I am going to print the multiplication table by using these inputs. We will write the algorithm. Step 1. This is the logical start of the algorithm. Step 2. Print Ask the user to enter the table and range. Enter the table and range. Next, I am obtaining the input n and r. Step 3 input n, comma r. n is for the table, r is for the range. Step 4 Initializing Variable i equal to 1 i is the loop variable Step 5 while I am writing the looping statement using while while the value of i less than or equal to the range r here I am printing print n Comma, a symbol, asterisk symbol, star, followed by i, that means the value of the variable i, followed by n equal to symbol, comma, followed by, I am giving n star. I. Why I am giving like this? For example, I am taking uh, I for n equal to 5, r equal to 5. So, this is the input. I am setting I equal to 1. I equal to 1. So, here it is set I less than or equal to R. That means 1 less than or equal to 5 is true. So to print the value of n, n is 5. And for the star symbol, asterisk with a string, what is the value of i? So what is the value of i? i equal to 
1 and equal to symbol followed by n star i i into 1 equal to 5. So to print a table like this and I am incrementing i by 1 and this is the end of the while statement. So until i less than or equal to r, you could print n star i equal to n star i, value of n star i and increment i by 1 to check again i less than or equal to r. The condition is true, the statement will get printed with the incremented value of i. So it is a loop, it will keep on printing the value in this format. So until it will go i less than or equal to r, that means i value less than or equal to the range, it will print the table. So while i value less than or equal to r is false, that means i value greater than r, greater than range, the condition will become false and the control will come out of this loop. Step 6 is the logical star. So this is the algorithm. Step 1, star. Step 2, I ask the user to enter the table and range. Step 3, input n, r. So I am storing the value of the table in the variable n, range in the variable r. Step 4, I am initializing i equal to 1, set i equal to 1. Step 5, I am checking while i less than r equal to r. The condition is true, it will come inside the body of the loop and print n, comma, the string star, followed by i value, followed by the string equal to symbol n star i in this format. So i will get incremented by 1. Again, we will check the condition, it is true, it will come and print the same statement with the incremented value of i. So, the table will go continuously until i less than or equal to r. So once i less than or equal to r is false, the control is false. It will come out of the loop and the algorithm will end. Now we will take a sample input and check how this algorithm works. So here the start, I ask the user enter the table and range input n comma r. So my n value is 5, r value is 5. I am initializing i by 1, i equal to 1. I am checking while i less than or equal to r. So while 1 less than or equal to 5, the condition is true. I am printing n, value of n is 5, followed by a string star, which is printed here, followed by value of i, which is 1, and followed by an equal to symbol and n star i, that is equal to 5. And I am incrementing i by 1. Now, so my i value is 2. So to come to the header of the loop and check the condition, it's an extra iteration. 2 less than or equal to 5, which is true. It will come inside and print n is 5, followed by the star symbol, followed by the i value. What is the i value? Which is 2. 2 equal to symbol and n star i, 5 into 2 is 10. Now, i equal to i plus 1, i will get incremented by 1, i equal to 2 plus 1 which is 3, again the control will come to the loop header, next iteration, 3 less than or equal to 5 which is true, it will print 5 into i value 3, equal to 5 into 3 is 15 and i value will get incremented by 1 i will equal to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so we check 4 less than or equal to 5 which is true we print the statement n 5 star 4 equal to 5 star 4, 5 into 4, which is 20, i value will get incremented by 1, i equal to, existing value of i is 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5, we'll check the condition, 5 
फाइव लेस देन और इक्वल टू फाइव इज ट्रू इट कम अप इन द स्टेटमेंट देन फाइव आई वैल्यू फाइव फाइव स्टार फाइव इक्वल टू फाइव इनटू फाइव सो वैल्यू ऑफ एन इनटू आई इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ आई वैल्यू विल गेट इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन आई इक्वल टू फाइव प्लस वन विच इज सिक्स नाउ टू चेक द कंडीशन सिक्स लेस देन और इक्वल टू फाइव आर इज फाइव विच इज फॉल्स The control will come out of the loop and the algorithm ends. So my input is five, range is five. For this, I am getting this multiplication table perfectly. So this algorithm will work for any table with the any range. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment, and press the bell button. Thank you.